I love Tina Fey. I'm also very partial to Paul Rudd. So there was always going to be the chance that I loved Admission, given the fact that it's about education. I absolutely adored it. And it's got a rating of 5.7 out of 10 on IMDb with a meta score of 48, which I think is pretty low. Like for me, I'd give it a 6.5 easy, maybe not a 7. But it is a film that I really enjoyed and I'm surprised it hasn't been more highly rated. I'd love to know what you think of it if you've seen it. It was released in 2013. It feels older. Directed by Paul Weitz uh, or Weitz and written by Karen Croner based on the novel by Jean Hanf Korolitz or Jan Hanf Korolitz. I apologise if I mispronounce names. I'm really bad at pronunciations. And it stars, of course, Tina Fey and Paul Rudd. And the description from IMDb is as follows. A Princeton admission officer who is up for the for a major promotion takes a professional risk after she meets a college-bound alternative school kid who just might be the son she gave up years ago in a secret adoption. So she is putting her job at risk because she's given this particular boy, um, well, this boy, um, special attention. This student is called Jeremiah. He's played by Nat Wolf. And he goes to um, what IMDb describes as an alternative high school, which is run or managed by John Pressman, who's played by Paul Rudd. And obviously Tina Fey plays our Princeton admissions officer, Portia Nathan. And she actually used to go to school with John Pressman. So there's quite a, you know, instantly when they meet, it's not for the first time. There's some history there. And I think it gets the background information across really quickly and gives us what we need to know so we can get the story moving. And because she begins to think that maybe Jeremiah was the son she gave up, she is putting her career at risk by bending over backwards to get him into this school. Obviously, Princeton is prestigious. There is a lot of competition. You can't give anybody, you know, favoured attention. People have gone to prison. Famous actresses have gone to prison because they have allegedly tried to bribe to get their children into a decent college. So it's it's a very, very big risk that she's taking here. And it's really fascinating to see how it unfolds. Now, this sounds like it could be quite traumatic. You know, like if she gave this child up, if she adopted this child and she suddenly thinks she's found him again, she could be distraught or wrought with all kinds of emotion. But obviously it is a comedy. It takes serious moments and runs with them and delivers them expertly. And then once the serious moment is over, it's back to the comedy and it's a bit more lighthearted. It's fun. It's unpredictable. The relationship between uh, Portia and John is brilliant. Great to watch. The on-screen chemistry between Faye and Rudd is spectacular. I have no issues with the casting. In fact, I think the casting's pretty, pretty, pretty spot on. Jeremiah is a character, although he's the centre of the story and it's basically all about him, it's, we don't get to see as much of him as we do the other characters, but it makes perfect sense, really. I think it's a very funny film. I'm not going to say that's the funniest film I've ever seen. I won't say it's the funniest Tina Fey film, but it is one that I would certainly recommend. It's one that I would happily watch again, and to be honest, it's much better than what any of the reviews, well not any of the reviews, I've read some positive reviews about it, it's not all bad, but there are a lot of negative reviews on this and I just don't understand where they've come from because personally I find it delightful. I don't expect everybody to love it, but certainly I thought it was pretty decent. If you haven't seen it, I thoroughly recommend it. It's great fun, well cast, brilliant narrative execution. For me, admission is pretty great.